Hello viewers, do you guys know the real reason why the Pakistani Army, Air Force and the Navy do not currently have or use the long range surface to air missiles, also known as SAMs? Well very soon, you are about to find out. The long range SAMs are the first line of defense of any country. They protect the country's airspace from air intrusions by the enemy. The real reason the Pakistani Air Force, also known as the PAF, Army and the Navy hasn't deployed long-range surface-to-air missiles apart from their high price tags and their expensive maintenance. The reason for this being that Pakistan is very smart because they do value for money acquisitions into their armed forces and for them the long-range surface-to-air missiles in a way are not the most important acquisition. So instead they invested time and money in their upgradation of older attack aircrafts like the Mirage 3 and the Mirage 5 under the project ROSE meaning retrofitting of strike elements. They also did a midlife upgrade on the multi-role fleet of F-16s, spent time and money on their self-reliance program by producing the state-of-the-art JF-17 Thunder and investing money into the future fifth generation aircraft, their Air Force training and logistics program as well as their medium and short range air defense systems. The reason for this being that PAF is Pakistan's first line of defense in case of war or any misadventures by their enemy. PAF has done this job incredibly well for over 70 years. PAF was the reason Indian Air Force couldn't stay for long in Pakistani airspace and had to eventually retreat back to safety into their own Indian airspace as quickly as possible on the February 26, 2019 air intrusions in Pakistani airspace. Pakistani airspace is like a fortress of medium and short range air defense systems. The enemy fighter jets are somehow able to dodge the Pakistani fighter jets and go deep into the Pakistani airspace. Then, in order to defend their homeland, different surface-to-air missile units of the PAF launch their missiles towards the enemy fighter jets, enemy standoff weapons, as well as enemy cruise missiles that are launched towards the Pakistan by the enemy. It is the Pakistani Air Force's primary job to confront and intercept the air intruders from entering into Pakistani airspace to target the military installations and other targets. Today, we are briefly going to analyze the medium and short range surface to air missile currently in service with Pakistani Army, the Pakistani Air Force and the Pakistani Navy. SPARA is short to medium altitude air defense system consisting of a radar with a range of 60 kilometers and four six cell missile launchers that can intercept enemy missiles and aircrafts at a range of over 20 kilometers. A contract of 10 batteries was signed when aspied missiles were selected. Reports state that Pakistan tested the air defense system in July 2010 following deliveries of the first few batteries. Deliveries of all 10 batteries were reported to have been completed in 2013 with further orders possible upon immediate request of the Pakistani Air Force. The missile system was tested by Range and Instrumentation Division of Suparco in synergy with the PAF drones were successfully intercepted and shot down by the missile system following extensive testing. It is an enhanced all-weather air defense system for the protection of sensitive ground sites such as air bases, seaports, industrial plants and other important buildings. Deploying powerful S-5 2000 semi-active missile ensures enemy platforms are prevented from releasing their airborne weapons from short ranges. It is easily transportable by truck, train or by C-130 transport aircraft also known as Hercules. In addition, SPADA can be connected to a higher level of air defense architecture. Last but not the least, this surface-to-air missile system is made by Italy. On 12 March 
2017, Pakistan announced that it had fully inducted the HQ-16 into service during the two-week-long Al-Baiza military exercise in 2019. Pakistan test-fired the HQ-16 medium-range surface-to-air missile system towards aerial targets. The HQ-16 can intercept flying aerial targets at the altitudes of 15 meters and up to 18 kilometers. The maximum interception range of the aircraft is 40 km and maximum interception range for cruise missiles is between 3.5 km and 12 km flying at 1080 km per hour. The manufacturer claims that single shot kill probability is 85% against aircrafts and 60% against cruise missiles. The missile itself has a speed of 4320 km per hour. It was reported that naval variant of the missile which is installed on Type 54 frigate of the Pakistan Navy was designed to intercept sea skimming missiles that can fly less than 10 meters above the surface. The missile uses a cold launch system like the S-400 air defense produced by Russia. 11 Crotel units and 23 missile batteries were inducted in 1976 into the service of Pakistani Air Force. These were later upgraded in Pakistan, increasing the missile range from 20 km up to 30 km. Originally, this system was first developed for South African Air Force by Rockwell International and Thomson Houston in France, where it was named the Cactus. However, the achievements of the system impressed Pakistan, who purchased the system for the Pakistani Air Force. Pakistan inducted Chinese HQ-7B short-range air defense system to counter enemy aerial targets, including enemy cruise missiles. It was purchased somewhere in 2014 and the equipment was displayed on Park Day Parade in 2017. It is an all-weather surface-to-air missile system. FM-90 has the capability to engage aerial targets including cruise missiles, drones, air-to-surface guided missiles and many others can operate under adverse electronic countermeasures environment meaning this system cannot be easily fooled by electronic missile warfare of the enemy air platforms. This system also both in range and accuracy. The weapon produced in China's National Precision Machinery Import and Export Corporation, the HQ-7B is also an improved version of the HQ-7 which is a Chinese copy of the French Quartel surface-to-air missile system currently in service with the Pakistani Air Force. LY-60N, where N stands for the Navy, was exported to the Pakistani Navy in 1990s to refit its purchase of Tariq class frigate. Three Tariq class frigates were fitted with a six cell LY-60N surface-to-air missile system. The LY-60N is an advanced version of the LY-60 and it is naval related. Development of the LY-60 was precipitated by the Chinese requirement of a beyond visual range system. The missile used in this system is a Chinese copy of the Italian asphalt missile used in the SPADA air defense system that is currently in service with the Pakistan. RIM-66 also known as SM-2. It is currently in service with the Pakistani Navy on the Alamgir class frigate. The RIM-66 is a medium-range surface-to-air missile system. The SM-2MR introduced inertial command mid-course guidance. The missile's autopilot is programmed to fly the most efficient path to the target and can receive course corrections from the ground units as well. Well viewers, these are the main units of the Pakistani Armed Forces surface-to-air missile defense units. Thank you for watching.